All right, I am starting this video fresh-faced because today's product review and today's video in general is something that I am really eager to review, something that I'm really eager to test out. So I don't even wanna have an opinion formed with my full face on while giving you the intro. I just want it to be a straight on delivery. All right, hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back, I'm Mariam. In today's video, I am finally Finally, going to be reviewing the new Jones Road by Bobbi Brown, the woman. What the foundation? Foundation. It's actually a skin tint, and I also have the face pencil to review in this video. So it's going to be a foundation review with the wear test, as always, testing it out on my very oily AF skin. But also in this video, I definitely want to talk about the controversy or the hot goss. What is Jones Road? Who is Bobbi Brown? What does this mean for Bobbi Brown cosmetics? And I kind of want to like address it all, you know, I want to have like a foundation review moment with just a bit of tea being sipped not spilled if you know what I mean So let's get into this video Be sure to watch this video in its entirety for the final wear test for the verdict for the truth Team truth style as always if you haven't subscribed to my channel already This is your opportunity to do so hit that notification bell so you can watch all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos And now let's get to this review Jones Road what the foundation what the face pencil Let's test it all out shall we? Okay, so first and foremost, if you are not familiar with Jones Road, if you are someone who's into makeup but you've been living under a rock, let me give you a little brief synopsis. Bobbi Brown, the woman who is a super well-known makeup artist in the industry. She's been around for a long time. She has also founded Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, the brand. I use it all the time. I still have it in my arsenal. I pick it up all the time. But basically, Bobbi Brown, the woman, has not been a part of Bobbi Brown Cosmetics since about 2016. And then she kind of like went off the grid. She went silent. And then suddenly, earlier this year, potentially even in 2022, she came out with her new makeup line, Jones Road. Now on the website of Jones Road, it actually says on the bottom that she is no longer affiliated with Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. And this makes me question, this makes me wonder, what does Jones Road and what does all of this mean for Bobbi Brown the brand? And what does this mean for the woman? She's also been very viral on TikTok. She's created tons of videos. This foundation went viral. A lot of people have been reviewing it. So this is kind of like why I'm here. I finally got my hands on this. Actually, I was supposed to go to their event here in New York City, but I was traveling. I believe this event took place while I was in Spain. So this was sent to me in PR. So this is actually my first time getting to this product and to testing this out. So now let's talk about all the product details. So now this is meant to be a skin tint. It comes in this jar here. I have the shades light and beige, which I am not certain that they will actually be my shades because light and beige are both in the light category and I am in the medium category, but that's fine. This is supposed supposed to be a skin tint, so I think, I have a feeling it might stretch up to my skin tone, so totally fine. This is a $44 product, and it is actually meant for normal to dry skin. Now, my skin is very oily. It is acne prone. I have some enlarged pores here. I have some imperfections, but my skin is actually on the okay side right now. I did break out a little bit on this side of my face and also like along the jawline after my trip to Napa. I was on the plane back home and I actually forgot to cleanse my face. So long story short, I had a little bit of a situation, but now my skin is doing better. Also in today's video, I will be testing out the new face pencil. Where did it go? Ah, here we go. So yes, the face pencil, I have it here in two shades, in shade four and also in shade six. Shade four is supposed to be a yellow base, kind of like a skin color pencil meant to cover up your blemishes or your spots. And then shade six, which is also meant for lighter skin tones, has a bit of a peachier undertone. So this you could use under your eyes to uh, brighten your dark circles or whatnot. So I'm gonna be testing all of this out. So first, let me go ahead and swatch shade light and shade beige on my skin. Okay, off the bat, I just opened this up. I'll show you a close-up of what this looks like. Uh, this looks quite a bit messy. There's a lot of separation between the, what looks like is supposed to be a cream, and then there's definitely like a liquid. So it doesn't really look too cute in the jar. It looks messy. I'm not sure if maybe I'm supposed to swirl it around and mix it. Maybe I will do that. I'm just gonna grab a brush and I'm 
gonna mix it. The consistency here is definitely looking very creamy, almost liquidy creamy, but once I'm able to mix it together, it looks a bit more pleasing to the eye. I'm not sure if the product separated in shipment, just because it's been so hot and so humid here in New York. Wherever this was sitting, it was definitely not temperature controlled. All right, but in any case, I'm gonna swatch that. My cheek, and then I'm gonna grab shade beige. Shit, that actually was beige. Okay, this is beige, and it looks very light. So now I'm gonna grab shade light. All right, this one isn't as separated as the beige, but still, I feel like it might need to be swirled in there. All right, and now let's test shade light. Okay, definitely on the lighter side. And now I'm gonna test out the two crayons just to see what shades we are working with. Here is shade four. Ooh, the consistency of this is nice. And here is shade six. Ooh, yeah, these feel great. And these are $25 each if I didn't already mention this. All right. So now that we have the shades, I think it's time for a thumbnail face. Don't you think? I do. Jones Road by Bobbi Brown. What does that mean for Bobbi Brown Cosmetics? The brand, hmm, I wonder. Do you think this will work on my oily AF skin though? Ooh, I don't know, girl. Hmm. All right, so now that I've done that, I was actually looking to spread these swatches just to see how they blend in with my skin, but they've actually started to solidify, which I was not expecting. Okay, the beige, I think definitely works better than the light. Definitely blends in with the color of my face, which is like 20 shades lighter than the rest of me. And obviously in the summertime, I like to match my face to my neck and to the rest of my body because I am on the tanner side, but you know, beige is what I have to work with today. So beige is what I'm gonna work with. And here Here's what I'm thinking. So I am thinking I should probably try out this What the Foundation by Jones Road in two different ways. I'm gonna apply primer to one side of the face and then for primer I'm gonna be using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder just because I'm very oily and I need to perfect my texture. And then on this side of the face, I'm just gonna go in bare with the What the Foundation Skin Tint alone on its own. Then at the end of the day, I'm gonna show you and compare both sides. All right, so let me go ahead and grab the universal shade, the Danessa. I guess I should also do half on my forehead. As you can see, I am very basic today with my outfit, with my hair. Today, I am strictly here for this review. I'm really curious. I want to know if this is game changing. And obviously, as a beauty junkie, I'm excited. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of this shade beige and I'm going to dot this across my face. I like that. Definitely a very, very light shade for me. Probably even light for my winter skin tone, but it's supposed to be a skin tint, like I said, so I think I will make it work. All right, I'm going to start blending it out with my fingers. I'm gonna apply this to this side of the face first, which was the side of the face that did not have any primer. I mean, honestly, this feels like a moisturizer. A little bit thicker than a moisturizer though, almost like it's a moisturizer with SPF, just because I feel like you need to put a little bit of muscle into spreading this across. But the finish is very pretty and it's very, very dewy. It is definitely seeming to perfect the skin, but it leaves somewhat of a sticky residue that you could probably even hear. Here. Listen. You know, perhaps this is not meant for my oily skin type after all. I am just so curious and I really want it to work. All right, so then for the other side of the face, I'm thinking, wow, it's really starting to separate. It's such a strange, unique consistency. I'm gonna grab this Hollywood Complexion Brush from Charlotte T. This one is very small and I typically use it for primer. Right now it's clean. I'm gonna see if I can spread out this cream using a brush and to see if it'll be easier to spread with a brush. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to make of this just yet. It seems like I was able to spread the product, but it definitely felt like it disappeared into nothing. Like I'm not really seeing any coverage. I'm not seeing too much of a difference. I I think this product on its own gave a little bit more of a difference than with the Danessa Myricks. Underneath, I am perplexed. Well, let's see how it applies to the forehead. I don't know, guys. I truly don't know if this is doing anything for my skin. I mean, you tell me. You're watching me do this. Are you seeing any difference on camera? I feel like my forehead looks exactly the same as when I first started. Perhaps I just have a slightly more tinted complexion and the tint in this case is a pinch lighter than my skin. That's really all I'm seeing, but I don't know. Perhaps this is a product that is good for people with already very good skin. Those who may not need much coverage at all. Let me see. I'm going to go in one more time. I'm going to just grab a 
tiny bit of product. Maybe I'm gonna try to build it up on my forehead. I think with the fingers, it is a little bit easier to manipulate. Also, I'm getting the sense that it is better to apply this quickly, not dot it all over the face and then blend, but rather apply and blend at the same time. This really does feel like a cream, like skincare. And honestly, I kind of want to get my hands on a couple more shades just so I could really see the difference. Right now, it's hard for me to tell whether this is doing anything at all. But somehow, looking at my mirror, looking at my monitor, I am noticing that my texture is looking a little bit more perfect on both sides. The primed side and then the non-primed side as well. There's something about it. There's just something. Let's leave that be. So what I'm gonna do next is actually test out these face pencils. I'm gonna go for shade six first. This one has a slight peachy undertone. I wanna add that directly underneath my eye, kinda like blend that out with a finger. That was very lovely. You can clearly see the difference between this under eye and this under eye that's looking a lot more purple. I am really liking what I'm seeing. That was a pleasant experience. And generally speaking, I like these types of pencils. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you know how much I rave about the Airborean BB pencil crayon. That one is like my favorite go-to, but it has limited shades, only four. This one, I believe comes in 12 shades, potentially more. I am stoked at the possibilities. I mean, this was really easy and the consistency is really solid. Like this actually feels like a crayon rather than a transparent type of pencil. And it's not gliding around, also not settling into anything. So I am pleasantly surprised. Though I'm not really surprised because I have high expectations from Bobbi Brown, the woman. She has been in the industry for so long. She even has a masterclass on masterclass.com that I meant to watch, but now I will definitely watch. I mean, she has been moving and shaking things up in the beauty industry since what, the 80s, the 90s? Okay, this crayon pencil is it. This shade six is really nice. I like the slight peachy undertone. I feel like it might be a little bit too bright for my complexion because looking at myself right now, I definitely feel very washed out. But the undertone and just like perfect counterbalance for the under eye is what's really striking me as great and as very interesting. All right, I'm gonna test out the other shade, shade four. This one is quite a bit lighter and also a bit more on the yellow side, but the pigment and the texture is exactly what I'm looking for. This is literally perfectly made for my skin type. That's what I feel. I'm gonna go ahead and try to cover up some of these blemishes or at least some of these spots. Also, I'm gonna brighten just underneath the brow, a bit of a lifting effect. Maybe Maybe also in the inner corner. Maybe also a little bit right here on the nose bridge. Oh yeah, that is lovely. Off the bat, obsessed. Right now I'm actually thinking about all the different shades I'm gonna purchase off their website as soon as I'm done with this video. I'm thinking I need a pencil for contouring, I need a pencil for skin matching, for like my summer color, I need all sorts of colors. I need more colors for the under eye. All right, I'm gonna grab just this MAC brush and blend out this line. I want it to be sharp underneath the brow. Another thing I'm noticing is that this pencil is not creasing underneath my eyes at all. I am gonna add just a little bit of powder just to secure it. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Rose Setting Powder, just a little bit right under the eye and maybe a little bit around the nostril folds as well. Like that, like that. A little bit right here, also a bit right here. And then just to keep it fair, because I am very oily and generally speaking, I set any cream or liquid foundation skin tint with a powder. I'm gonna take my Charlotte T Airbrush Flawless Powder and I'm gonna just add it all over my face as a seal. But before I do, wait, pause. I'm actually gonna grab my NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream Shade 3 from my previous video. I was very impressed with this one. I just wanna bring back my normal skin tone because I am gonna be conducting a wear test. I am gonna be doing things throughout the day, so I don't want to go out with a face that doesn't look like it's attached to my body. So I'm going to make it work. I'm going to grab a bit of this Laguna, add that to my forehead, generously as you can see. And I'm just going to work that in to my forehead. Also, this will help me see whether these two products are compatible, and so far they look very compatible. Okay, cute. While I'm at it, I'm gonna grab this uh, Baby Cheeks blush stick from Westman Atelier, which was also sent to me in the PR package for Jones Road. And actually, this PR package came from Credo Beauty, which 
I thought initially was its own makeup brand, but not only is it a makeup brand, it's also actually a store, and they just happen to carry Jones Road. So they sent me what the foundation, they sent me the pencils, and they also sent me this blush stick from Westman Atelier. I think I'm just gonna work that in with my fingers just to keep it very fresh and easy breezy. And then I'm gonna go back with the face pencil and just go over some of my spots that I might have already removed. The face looks very, very natural. I'm thinking I just need a little something, like a little glow. Let's see what I have in the glow category. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Pixie on the Glow Bronze Stick. Just a very light shade, soft glow. Spread that with my fingers. And now, finally, to seal everything in, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte T Airbrush Flawless Big Ol' Refer Brush that sheds like crazy. And I'm just gonna stamp everything lightly and seal it all in. Kinda like my forehead looking wet. It just looks so pretty and so dewy, yes. But you know what? Knowing me, it'll only stay this way for 30 minutes. Gotta seal the deal. All right, you guys, this is the look. Jones Road, what the foundation skin tint. Jones Road, the face pencil for the under eye and for the spots. A couple of helpers from NARS. Westman Atelier, Charlotte T. There you have it. Let me go ahead and judge. The complexion, I must say, looks very, very fresh. My skin right now isn't totally perfect. There's some acne scars. There's some spots. There's some dry spots that are still healing. It's not like an ideal skin situation for me, but overall, I think it looks really healthy. It looks glowing. It looks natural. It doesn't look like I have very many products on my face, so that makes me feel good. Up close, I'm not really seeing any pores. I'm not really seeing any texture issues. In fact, I'll show you a close-up so you can be the judge. Here's a close-up of my face. Looking very fresh and dewy. This side, this side. Forehead looking really good. Overall, I gotta say, I am pleased with this initial application. Although I'm not too certain about the foundation or the skin tint, it um, wasn't enough of a dramatic difference for me to be super impressed, I'll be frank. Of course, I gotta see how it wears. I definitely think it had an impact on my overall skin texture and just like the health factor or like the visual health factor of my skin. But what really stood out to me and something that I immediately fell in love with is definitely the face pencil. This was great consistency. This offered enough pigment and was pliable enough. It was moldable and flexible enough to move around, to manipulate, and also it didn't crease under the eyes. So let's see how all of this wears. I am going to be conducting a wear test, possibly some check-in, so let's cue in that good old time warping music. Ooh, it's been a while since I've said that. Yeah, time warping music. Let's cue that in for that good old wear test. Okay, hi guys, I am back in the filming room. No check-ins, this is an eight hour wear test. This is my skin, my face at the end of the day. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. Pretty damn promising. Overall, looking at my skin, the first thing that stands out to me the thing that I am most drawn to is how natural it looks. It doesn't look like I'm wearing much makeup, but my skin definitely looks perfected. Secondly, I am not seeing a grease pan on my face. Mind you, I have not blotted a single time throughout the day. Granted, today wasn't a super busy day. I didn't go to the gym. I didn't run around. I actually was in my house the entire time. So I was pretty much taking care of work and just doing like paperwork type of stuff and just like doing my daily dealings, you know? This is the skin. Let me zoom in real close so we can observe this side of the face with the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder underneath. This is the texture, the pores, the acne spots. This one seems to have rubbed off, I guess. You can kind of see all my spots. This is this side of the face. Looks just as good, even though this side of the face doesn't have any of the blurring balm powder as a primer. And here is the forehead. I mean, yeah, I definitely do look just a little bit worn, you know, like the skin looks like it's been lived in, like it's been living its best life today, but usually after an eight hour wear test, those of you who've been watching me for a long time, you know that typically I look very, very greasy. Not cute whatsoever. I typically blot throughout the day so that I can avoid that greasy look, but today, not only did I not need to blot, I also didn't really have a chance to blot. Am I pleasantly surprised? Yeah, you could say so. I am definitely pleasantly surprised with the Jones Road What The Foundation Skin Tint. I thought that this has worn pretty well, although it was really difficult for me to be able to tell whether I like it or not at 
first. Given the fact that it's such sheer coverage and I didn't really see too noticeable of a difference in terms of covering my imperfections and um, evening out my skin tone. But what I did notice was definitely a change, an enhancement in texture. And obviously I think it was able to control my oils pretty well. Those are my thoughts on the skin tint, AKA what the foundation, the product that I really, really, really immediately fell in love with off the bat is actually the face pencil. This was so super easy to use. I really loved how intuitive it was, how easily it applied on, yet the fact that it had this solid sort of consistency that it didn't really even need to be set with powder. Under my eyes, if you notice, there's hardly any creasing. Granted, this isn't the most pigmented pencil I've ever tried, but then again, for the kind of natural coverage that it offers, this is probably one of the best that I've ever tried. If you're talking about coverage and also texture and also longevity, if you take all of those aspects in mind, this was amazing. This was truly, truly, truly amazing and I cannot wait. I really truly just need to get my hands on more shades. Over here you could probably tell that it looks a little odd and that's because I have a few freckles here that almost look like they're aligned and also it looks like it's um, creating like a border between my cheek and my eye. That's actually not the case. It's probably due to the fact that I applied the pencil only directly to the freckles and then I applied my blush underneath so it's my mistake. But if I want to eliminate that I can just easily apply that a little bit lower, blend it out, and that issue would be gone. Basically what I'm saying in a nutshell is that I am very much intrigued. I definitely will be reaching for this again. I need to get my hands on more shades so that I can properly test it out. But so far, you guys, I have a feeling that Bobbi Brown, the brand, just might be shaking in their boots. That's just... The feeling that I'm feeling. Bobby Brown, the woman, has definitely created something unique and different. She is stirring things up. She is here to stay. She is here to make another mark in the beauty industry. And honestly, these two products, they did not disappoint. In fact, they intrigued me. And in fact, I want so much more. So that is my honest, my thorough review of the new foundation from Jones Road and also the concealer pencil. Hope you guys like this one. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried Jones Road? Are you going to be trying Jones Road? Links down below as always. And at this point, I'm going to zoom on out. I'm going to say farewell. I will see you in my other videos. Till next time. Mwah. Peace out. And I'm out.